हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई शैल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ योर अकाउंटेंसी कोर्स दैट इज अकाउंटिंग फॉर नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस सो इन दिस लेक्चर दिस इज द लेक्चर फर्स्ट सेशन लेक्चर यू विल फाइंड मी स्पीकिंग टू यू अबाउट वट इज एंड नॉट प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज वट आर देयर एनुअल वट आर द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ इट्स फिनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स and uh, what are the associated aspects related to accounting for not for profit organizations so uh, coming to the um, meaning of not for profit organizations what is a not for profit organizations by the name as it suggests these are organizations which are engaged okay in uh, carrying out their activities but for the purpose of rendering services to its members sometimes or sometimes to the society or sometimes to its clients so the motive is not making profit generally you have learned you know the meaning of businesses businesses are always formed with the purpose of earning profit but these these are organizations they are uh, like association of people who come together do something do a task but their target is not profit their target is service okay so they are not for a profit organizations so not for profit organizations are basically say government educational institutions they are recreation clubs such charitable hospitals religious trusts trade unions so those are not for profit organizations their primary motive is to render services and not profit so in class 11 you have done um, your uh, you have learned to prepare the financial statements of an of a, a sole proprietorship you have learned to prepare the trading account you have learned to prepare the profit and loss account you have learned to um, prepare the balance sheet so those are the financial statements or the final accounts of a sole proprietorship now the final accounts or the financial statements of a not for profit organizations are slightly different from uh, that of sole proprietorship or partnership or other organizations so you will be learning about all those things like a company partnership gradually but now we are talking about the not for profit organizations so in not for profit organizations their financial statements comprises of three statements that is the first is the receipt and payments account the second is income and expenditure account and the third is the balance sheet so and the books of accounts they maintain are cash book and ledger that is same like um, the sole proprietorship that you have learned in class 11 but the financial account uh, statements that they prepare here are the first one is a receipt and payment account the second one is an income and expenditure account and the third one is a balance sheet okay so now coming to the first financial statement which they prepare is a receipt and payment account so now what is a receipt and payment account a receipt and payment account is nothing it is simply a summary of all cash transactions like in a cash book you put all cash transactions in a chronological order as and when they take place in receipts and payments account what you do is that you summarize all semi transactions of similar categories and you put them so that becomes a receipts and payments account so it is what it is nothing but a summary of cash transactions and it includes an opening balance of cash and bank and also it includes a closing balance of cash and bank if any so that is nothing that is the receipts and payments account in simple terminologies okay so what is receipts and payments account i repeat once again it is a summary of the cash transactions so uh, a receipts and payments account you can see on the um, screen i have shared with you the pro forma of a receipts and payments account you will find all the receipts on the debit side it starts with the opening balances of cash and bank uh, if any okay and all the receipts maybe subscription maybe legacy sale of office furniture irrespective of anything you have got money in the current year you will record it on the debit side of your receipts and payments account okay so that's how that is how you uh, put up uh, that is how you prepare the receipts and payments account all the receipts on the debit side all the payments on the credit side now in some cases you might have a bank overdraft now if you have a bank overdraft you have to put that on the payment side okay uh, and at a very extra at the very beginning okay and then if you have a bank overdraft in the uh, end of the year you put it on the debit side okay so that's to balance a cd so and all the payments are recorded on the credit side so payments can be any payments it may be capital payment it may be revenue related expenses 
okay it may be capital receipts it may be revenue receipts irrespective of anything you have got cash in the current year you record there is no cash transactions you completely ignore so that is the basic funda of receipts and payments account okay so to uh, recapitulate the things that i have told you just now first is a not for profit organization is an organization which is uh, set up or which is uh, operate which, which which operates with the with the motive of service and not profit they maintain cash book and ledger as their primary books of accounts and they have a different set of books set of statements as their financial statements or the final accounts that is the first is the receipts and payments account the receipts and payments account it means nothing it is simply a summary of all cash transactions the next is income and expenditure account so what you do in receipts and payments account basically you just put all the receipts and all the payments you put the cash receipts you put the cash payments irrespective of the fact whether it belongs to this year or it belongs to the previous year or it belongs to the next year but in income and expenditure account what you do is that you have to segregate those items and you put only those items of income and you put only those items of expenditure which belongs to the current year only you do not take any items which belongs to the previous year which belongs to the previous year you do not take any item of any item which belongs to the next year you take all items of income you take all items of expenditure out of the receipts and payments you now filter them and check that which of these receipts belong to the current year somebody might have paid you money that was due in the previous year somebody might have paid you money which is in advance you don't take those you take only those in those receipts which are income for the current year and you take only those payments which are expenditures for the current year maybe previous year you did not pay salary to your staff you have paid it now that it comes in the payment of receipts and payments account but in income and expenditure you don't put that because that was an expenditure for the previous year and not for the current year here you put only current year expenditure and another item is revenue and capital you do not take any capital items you take only revenue items means items of recurring nature items pertaining to normal business operations you have paid salary revenue recurring nature so you put it you have uh, purchased a vehicle a car that's a capital item you do not take it you have got donation from your members regular donation you take it you got donation from one of the person who paid you some money to construct a building now that is donation for a specific purpose donation for a building you don't take it okay so that will not come in the income and expenditure account so here only revenue items are treated in the income and expenditure account and only those items which belongs to the current year you can see on your screen i have the pro forma of income and expenditure account and finally the balance sheet and you know the balance sheet it is a statement of assets and liabilities that is held by an organization okay so what is an income and expenditure account it is it is a statement like profit and loss account that is prepared in case of trading concerns there you take all items of income and expenditures out of your receipts and payments which belongs to the current year and which are revenue in nature okay and what is balance sheet balance sheet is a statement which shows the assets of the organization and the liabilities of the organization okay so these are the three things which comprises of the financial statements of a not for profit organization in the next lecture i shall show you how a receipts and payment account is prepared so i hope whatever i have narrated these are things most of it is clear so please follow the subsequent lectures things will be much more clear thank you all of you